So this is an update to the previous video. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick recap. The goal, the end goal is to bring touch display with over one single USB-C to Raspberry Pi. So the goal is to connect a touch display with a USB-C cable to the Raspberry Pi so that you only have one power going to the Pi and one coming out to uh, power a monitor and it also provides video and touch data to, to the uh, display. So I managed to get this working. In the previous video, I only had the video, so the touch was not working. Now in this video, I got the touch working. So I'm gonna run through the setup really quick, but before that, let's take a moment and see how touch is working on Raspberry Pi in this very specific setup for the first time. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna basically uh, press the terminal here turn the terminal open. So the touch is a little bit finicky. It's basically doing uh, emulating the mouse. Let's close. Oops, yeah, you see how, how bad because this this UI is really not designed for touch. That's really the problem. So but let's go here. And let's go to accessories. Yeah, it's pretty good. Calculator. Let's do a math 40 45 times yeah it's still a bit challenging but it works Ta -da! all right uh, so so touch is working now on Raspberry Pi with one cable but it's a really big mess right so what is happening here the USB C that carries video and touch data and power is connected to this adapter here this adapter let me zoom in so this adapter is taking HDMI from Raspberry Pi and then converts it to USB-C alt mode. And it also gets power from here. So, and it also inject power into USB. And here I have this custom board. Let me go a little bit. It's, it's from like a kit I, I bought in China and i can show you the kit later it's really a fun board so it intercepts all the pins of usb c so you can see like all the pin out so it kind of expand the cable and, and then bring it back and i'm basically tapping to the data line so i'm tapping into the d plus and d minus of usb 2.0 and then bringing that like uh, usb 2.0 data with this cable and connecting it to uh, usb on Raspberry Pi. So I'm basically bringing the touch events through the USB 2.0, which basically typically emulates an HID device. Um, and and basically that's how the touch works. Um, so this is really exciting, but what is the point really? Because this, this setup is really messy and uh, you know, this is really not helping for the sake of just just getting one wire to the to the to the monitor and that's a really great uh point because the, eventually this is going to go to a board that looks like this so this board is going to take one usb c so let me talk about this board a little so this side board basically connects to the raspberry pi in uh, like this so the audio jack goes into the audio jack and then the two HDMI's break out to the back with two full HDMI's and then this USB-C also goes through the board to the power uh, of the USB-C in the back. Um, so the goal is to ha modify this board so the power and the HDMI, one of the HDMI, so we have power here, the power is coming from here and we take one of the HDMI's and then we give it to the Lontium chip which is doing the conversion on that board and then we're gonna give out the audio, uh, so, sorry, the video and audio, so the, the USB alt mode data through one of, the, so we're gonna replace one of these with a USB-C connector. So it's gonna be HDMI to USB-C with some conversion happening on the board here. And we also feed the USB from the USB OTG of uh, the, 
a USB-C cable here that goes into the Raspberry Pi because Raspberry Pi exposes USB uh, OTG uh, through USB 2.0. So we have data lines here. So we're gonna connect the data lines from this, the HDMI from this and the power from this to one little uh, module here. And then we're gonna give out the USB-C out. And that module is here. So what is this? So this one I bought online from Mackie. So Mackie, I'm gonna link to his uh, project in the uh, description, made this for a different purpose. So he made this to put a Wii display onto a headless, uh, basically a VR type display. And also for people who wanna connect their Wii uh, handset to a full monitor. So, um, so basically he made this uh, module, it's a very small module, like look at my hand, how small this, this module is. And um, basically this is gonna go on the board. I'm kind of afraid to uh, um, damage this module because you can't imagine how expensive this thing is. And like, there are very few of these things that exist in the world because Mac didn't make a lot of these. So uh, so I have to be very careful with this one. Um, so basically the, the module is gonna sit in the board and it's gonna connect to that um, USB-C data and, the, uh, and power from here. So the power is gonna go from USB to this and the USB 2.0 data is gonna to go to the module and so one of the HDMI mice are gonna to come to the module and one of one of one uh, USB-C uh, alt mode uh, video and audio and data and power and everything is gonna go through one connector here to USB to the monitor. Um, so basically that's the plan. Um, it's, it's not gonna be as easy as it looks like because this module was not designed for this purpose. So this module is designed to get power from upstream monitor and then provide upstream power from the upstream source. And it expects your monitor to have power to downstream devices. So in this case, we don't really want that because we want to give power to the monitor. So that's a complication. So this thing comes with the firmware. So it's a bit of a story, but basically uh, the chip manufacturer basically gives you the, the burn, burn in the, the firmware into the design for you. So you can have a special, special customization that make the chip behave in different, differently. Um, so hopefully this can be done with a, with a software update or firmware update. But, you know, I'm just going to proceed with the design probably and uh, going to do some prototype for this PCB and see how it goes. Uh, I uh, want to really know if people need something like this because it's a lot of work to make something like that and then realize like nobody really wants it. So if this is something that you think you can use in your projects, uh, let me know. It's just like... I think it has a lot of potential because it can just like cut a lot of cord and have one, pow one power going to the Raspberry Pi and, and then one cable coming out from here to the monitor. You, you still need, need the adapter board and you can actually throw this into an enclosure. So I actually got this um, today and let me, I'm going to do another full episode on this one later, but I'm going to just do a quick teaser on this. So I got this <clears throat> today from the manufacturer and there are no port configurations here. So there's kind of like a big cutout here. And if I change this, this uh, board to have a USB-C, that means I'm gonna need to have a USB-C cutout here. So I designed this and the manufacturer sent it to me and I'm gonna have like a 3D printable uh, backplane that will swap out and to accommodate the new design. So I'm really excited about this new design, but it's a lot of work and I just wanna know like if people like want to use this system, you don't have to have an enclosure, you can just get the sideboard 
whatever but you know it's a lot of design work and one of the reasons i put out these videos is that i want to talk about the designs that i do and see what resonates with people and what uh, basically is something that they can use in their daily lives or find value in it uh thanks for watching this video and uh, don't forget to comment below and let me know your thoughts and if you want to continue on this journey definitely consider subscribing to my channel i'm gonna keep my videos kind of lighthearted and short and uh, basically um, not to run for a long time okay i'm talking too much bye